In this video, I'm going to be uh, showing you how you can check if your emails are going into spam. Obviously, this is really important because if you're paying for traffic and no one's seeing your emails, then firstly, you're not going to make any sales and you're just uh, wasting your money. So I'm going to go over two um, tools that you can use, which are both free. Um, and I'll show you exactly how they work. Uh, if it's the first time you come across my channel, I make videos teaching people how to make money online and uh, how to videos. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my uh, future videos. OK, so um, like I said, I'm going to go over two separate tools. Um, one is just a overall check about your um, like your email records. Um, sorry, which covers your email records and will tell you if you're blacklisted or anything like that. The other is just for um, uh, Gmail. So the reason um, I'm going to show you the um, Gmail tool is um, because of stats like this. Gmail has more than one billion active users. So you need to make sure that your emails are going to Gmail and inbox because if they're not, you're throwing away a huge amount of money. The amount of Gmail email accounts in my um, uh, my lists are huge. And if people weren't getting my emails, I would have wasted a lot of money on paying for um, advertising. So I always use these tools when um, I'm creating emails to make sure that people are going to actually see them. So I have a chance of actually making a sale. So the first tool is um, mail-tester.com. Like I said, this is free. Um, all you need to do is copy this email address. So I'm going to be using <coughs> um, Aweber as my autoresponder. Um, if you don't have an autoresponder, this is a great service. It's one of the best in the industry, or if not the best. Um, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description and you can get a 30 day free trial so you can try it out and see if you like it. Um, OK, so if you're not using this, then uh, your autoresponder may look slight, slightly different. But all you need to do is find out how your autoresponder um, sends to test um, test emails. So once you uh, create an email, you can preview and test it. So all that we do is we copy this email address from here. And then we go to our autoresponder and then we put in the email address that we've just copied because that's where we want to send the email to so they can scan it. <coughs> We're then going to click send test. And it says that it's sent. Um, this process normally takes about a minute. Um, so I'm going to fire off the Gmail one at the same time so that the results come in near enough at the same time. So um, once we've sent the email, we click then check your score. And you'll see the snail just keep moving until it's found your email in the inbox and scanned it. So the next one is litmus.com and uh, then forward slash gmail hyphen tabs this will tell you which folder uh, uh, yeah, which folder you will land in um, with your email so we do the same thing and we copy the email address go back to our auto responder and switch out the email address for the new um, gmail one and we do the same thing, we click send test and then it says sent. So again, I'm going to trigger this one and say I've sent it and then it will just keep saying loading, loading. So we'll check back here. So this uh, is still, uh, this is still checking. So like I said, this process can take around a minute. So if it's still doing this after like 30 odd seconds, it's fine. It's just doing its checks um, and the same with um, the Gmail tabs. Um, 
I'll give it another couple of seconds and um, if it um, hasn't pulled up the results, I'll pause it. Okay, cool. So the Gmail one's finished first. So as you can see, your email, welcome on board, which is the subject to my email, was sent to the inbox. So that's perfect. So um, what then what I would do if this didn't, so if this said it went to spam or social or um, any of these and it didn't go to the um, inbox, then I would look at uh, looking at the subject of the of the actual um, email. I would look at the actual contents inside it and make sure that it's not too spammy. Um, hopefully. Great. So this one's finished as well. So if you aren't being delivered to the inbox on Gmail, you want to check obviously your title so your subject and the actual contents of your email we also want to look at um, the results from mail tester because mail tester will tell you if you're blacklisted um, how you could improve your message um, if you're not fully authenticated if spam assassin thinks you can improve um, so this will give you everything and a total score. So mine's 9.3 out of 10. It's saying that I've got a broken link, but it's to my Facebook page. Um, so I can go and fix that. And then it will probably be um, a 10 or a 9.5 or something. But this will land in the, e the emails, uh, in the inbox for Gmail and Yahoo. It's very, 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 very difficult to get into um, Outlook an inbox unless somebody um, actually whitelists your um, e your email address is safe so uh, that's why I wanted to go over the Gmail tool if you have any questions let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to uh, help and if you found this useful uh, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next video